it's a great idea for Edward to go digital because of bringing all the information um, to any professional uh, fingertips will mean that we can streamline patient care and um, make it easier for our staff to provide efficient patient care. Being more digital would just be better for patient care really, um, especially if um, we can sort of share information using one electronic patient record and do that more across the hospital. I believe that it will provide more time to care at the patient's bedside for the nurses. I think it's really important um, so that we can communicate with other um, parts of the health um, organisations, in particular GPs. Uh, and it should be more digital because it uh, has the possibility of improving the quality of information, makes the information far more accessible and in a standardised format. I think Airdale should be more digital because it will save I think one of the reasons why I think Airdale should be more digital is for us to move with the times and look what other trusts are doing and work towards what they're doing. I think us at Airdale are, are well ahead of the game but there must be much more we can do. I think that the time saving element and releasing staff time um, from shuffling bits of paper, counting bits of paper, going through all these stages that could perhaps be simplified. And uh, we should do more, um, use more technologies uh, like System 1, telemedicines to improve patient care. If we commence using e-observations, it will also give more accuracy for patients and improve patient safety. I think we should be using more stuff around self-care for patients and there's lots of apps and websites we should be using with them. Releasing more time to actually care rather than doing paperwork. So as a midwife I think Erdo should be more digital because it will help to improve record keeping, it will make it more efficient, that gives staff more time to care for their patients and also it will help to improve communication between departments. And we can save a lot of time through using technology better as well. I think that a digital by default has got risks to it and we obviously are aware of that and, and should kind of keep that in mind. If there's a breach of if of security on your computers then that could be massive. If your computer system shuts down, mm. the whole hospital shuts down. Um, we shouldn't be solely um, digital because there's a big issue of um, digital exclusion out there in society and we, although the generation that's kind of growing up now um, is very used to um, technology and social media and using apps to kind of monitor their health, um, we can't make assumptions that everybody is used to that. Um, and we can't also make assumptions that everybody has access to the technology that they need to, to do that. Um, our job would be made a lot more easier if the referral forms were um, operated digitally. So I think Airedale should be more digital because I've spent the last year working on the um, telemedicine project which is delivering speech therapy to adults who stammer via telemedicine and um, so I've seen firsthand the positive impact it's made on the patients. Um, I facilitate the friends and family test and that takes um, a considerable amount of my time and is more or less entirely paper based. It's not the best use of my time and if it was automated um, it would release me to do other more interesting work, more patient facing work, more challenging work. <laughs> For us, if everything's run properly and all the information's there, then the clinics should run smoother. It's make like it safer and it'll save uh, us chasing the referrals back to the source. Um, in terms of my role in organisational learning, it's making things more accessible for our learners. So things like mandatory training, leadership workshops, having things more online to make it accessible for people in the trust to be able to complete that learning.